Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'm going to give you a concise overview of the capabilities of the DJI DRTK3 multifunctional station. We will cover capabilities in each mode, then break down the pros and cons of the DRTK3 to help you decide if it's worth a purchase or if you should consider another option, like an AMOLED RS2 or RS3. Let's get started with the DRTK3 as a base station. The DRTK3 integration in DJI Pilot makes setup as a base for your DJI drone quick and simple. Once it has been used with your drone, powering it on in base station mode and powering your drone on will be the only steps needed to fly with RTK corrections. You can save frequently used coordinates for repeatable results on sites you return to frequently. You can also connect multiple drones simultaneously, so long as they're in the list of supported drones. While the M4E and newer DJI drones will have the additional benefit of improved video transmission. Now let's look at the DRTK3 as a rover. With the DRTK3 in rover mode, we have the ability to collect some ground checks or control points with the DJI Enterprise app available on Android. Through the Android app, we can connect to our entry provider for RTK corrections, provided we have internet connectivity, and collect our points in a wide range of established coordinate systems, but are limited to ellipsoidal height for our vertical the DRTK3 is equipped with an IMU enabling tilt shots, and exports from the DJI Enterprise app are ready for import into Terra. Let's change modes to the relay station now. The purpose of the relay station mode is to extend video transmission from controller or dock to the drone up to 25 kilometers. For challenging environments, it can be useful to permanently install a relay station with the fixed deployment version pictured here. Here's a breakdown of the major pros and cons of this device in each mode. The DRTK3 multifunctional station is a great option for drone service providers who primarily offer inspection work and need RTK for tight control while flying manually. This unit is also the only device that can extend the transmission range of your DJI drones, with the caveat that you will need to be flying the latest platforms. As a rover, there are some disappointing drawbacks that severely hamper its potential in that area, since the rover is limited to N-trip corrections only, meaning you can't pair two DRTK3s as a base in a rover and will be unable to collect accurate points as a rover if you are in a remote area without internet connectivity or if you are just too significant of a distance from your RTK network. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.